Hi there, let's continue setting up our development environment. In this video, we will show you how to set up our C++ compiler. Hi, my name is Nahid. I'm a professional software engineer. I want to help you master tools and techniques of modern computing one video at a time. Let's dig into today's content. As mentioned in the previous video, we are going to use the GCC compiler, short for GNU-C compiler. It's a free open source compiler. It's one of the best kept ones out there. Now let's go set up our compiler. For this, we are going to go back to our tutorial page. So we have done step one and step two. Now we need to follow the main part. For this, we need to go here. We need to download this installer. Once it's downloaded, we need to run it. That folder is fine. So this will install the distribution system for installing our compiler. And it's done. Let's take this to run it now. This should give us a terminal we can use. Now, if you go back to the instructions, we have to run this command to complete the installation. Let's paste it here. Let's proceed. And it's done. Let's try to test it. GCC dashboard version. You can see that it ran our compiler, but we typed everything in caps. That will not work. We have to type in small case GCC dash version. It should print the compiler version. You can also run GCC dash V. Now we have to do one last thing. We have to add this compiler to our system path so we can run this from anywhere. To do this, we have to open up our start menu and and find this PC on Windows 10. Right click, properties, go to advanced system settings. We need to go to environment variables and find this path if this path key is not present you can click on new make a new path value but we already have one so let's go in we need to add our compiler to this variable list for this we can click on new browse we installed it in c MC64, it's the usert64 folder, and bin. That's where our compiler sits. So let's go click OK, 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 OK. Let's close this. We can test if the compiler is in our path. Let's go back to VS Code. Let's open up our terminal. Let's type in GCC. We can see that the program GCC ran, but it gave an error because we didn't give it an input file. If this doesn't work, you can close VS Code, open it again. And type in GCC. It should work. If you like this content, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. All questions, comments, requests, and feedback are welcome. I will see you in the next video.